Hello everyone. Once again, it is indeed inspiring to see you again. Uh, now we will be discussing about PySpark data frames and this is the second practical tutorial. You can see that uh, we already have uh, one introductory session on Spark and second one was how you can install and test PySpark on Jupyter Notebook or on Google Colab. So you can work either on Google Colab or Jupyter Notebook or any other ID, whichever you are favorite. Now here we will start with creating data frames. So for creating data frames, we need to import from PySpark dot SQL, we will be importing Spark session. And this Spark session will help us to initiate any kind of Spark applications. Okay, so we need to create one object of this Spark session. So let me create SS is equal to Spark session and Spark session has got builder module, which will help us to create an application. So we will be giving here app name and uh, this is data frame application, creating a data frame. So I will name it as data frame app. So this name is data frame app, any name you can give whatever name you want. And then I will be using get or create function and this will be creating the SS object. So this is the step one, or you can say step two. Step one is importing the Spark session module and step two is creating an mm -hmm. object. Initially, while you are creating this, it will take some time. So have patience, let it uh, basically take its own time and get loaded. After that, you can start creating data frames. So by the time it is, uh, it is getting added. So let me just uh, add over here. So this is uh, importing the modules. So this is step one, importing the modules. Okay, step one. And uh, let me just mark down this. We have done this and uh, here, let me add one more cell. And this one is, yeah. So let me copy this much, control C and control B. So this is step two and step two is creating, creating a spark session object. So this is very important. Without this, nothing, nothing would happen. Okay. So this we need to understand. Okay. Now let's go to step three. After this, now you can start creating a data frame. So let me create a data frame here. This is step number three. So create data frame. Okay, so you must have explored pandas. Uh, it is similar to that, but you can see that syntax wise, it is having little difference. So now how to create, let me name it as data is equal to, now I should have some, some file, some data. So I will, I'll create that in front of you. So let me create a small file. Okay, so notepad I'll open and here I'll create, uh, let's say this is 100 is the ID and uh, Naman is the name of the person and then the salary of the or the department of the person is HR and salary is 20,000. Okay, uh, what I can do is I can give the column names as well. So this is ID, then second one is name, third one is DPT department, fourth one is salary. So I've given the column names as well. So similar way, I'll just do 101 and Aman and uh, department I'll type admin and salary I'll type 34,000. And one more record I'll add. 102 and let me add my own record, Kushal and department at the IT and salary, I should give a little more to me. Yes, okay. So 103, I will add one more, that is Ritviz and uh, department, mm -hmm. I'll say uh, BD business development and I'll give 56,000. Okay, so this is uh, the file I'm creating and I'll save it, save as, let me save it as CXP file and I'll save it in the same drive so that I don't need to give any path. So I'll save it here under this. We have PySpark notebooks. Here I'll save, I'll save it as a CSV file. So let me save it as emp.csv. I already have the employees file over there, but no worries, I have created a new file over here. Now I will be, I will be uh, loading this file. So for loading, I have created SS as object. So I'll be using SS. And after that, what I'll be doing, ss.read option, I'll be choosing read. Mm -hmm. ss.read.csv 
and uh, after that uh, uh, i can directly give the path over here so let me give the path so the file name is emp.csv because the file is in the home folder so it doesn't require any kind of path and that's it now enter so you can see that it should create a data frame and here it should display that data frame so in case of uh, pandas if you see if you just type data it actually displays the data frame but in this case if you type data it doesn't display it says that c0 is one column c1 is another column okay it's just telling about the columns so if you want to display a data frame you will have to type data dot show so show is the command which will help you to display the content and here we can see that id name department even those have been considered as one of the uh, row so they are not actually row so i will make some changes over here after ss.read.csv i will type read and uh, here i will write option okay so under option i will write here in the bracket i will write header h e a d e r header and comma i'll give value as true so header is equal to true so now you can see that it has taken the header from the first row so this is an option here option header and comma two you can you can pass this way this will enable the header from the first row now i have a proper data set over here let us just have uh, one or two functions uh, so on on this particular data frame like pandas here also i can go ahead with head data dot head and it is going to display only one record so whatever number of records i want i need to mention inside the braces it shows me five records because i have mentioned five similar way i have another function which is tail so data dot tail i'll mention three so three records it is showing me from the bottom so head it starts from the beginning and ends at the bottom tail it starts from the bottom and it will uh, bring upon the th three records another function we should know is data dot print schema so this function is basically like uh, data dot info in case of panda so here we have data dot print schema so here we can see id is there which is string name is there which is string department is string salary is string so everything it has taken as string and null label is equal to true so null values are allowed okay so null can be there that it, it means that now if i want to check uh, that what are the columns inside my data frame so i can uh, i can check it with uh, data dot columns c o l u m n s okay data dot columns so here you can see that we have id name department salary so it is showing us the columns now after that uh, if i if i want to uh, specifically bring upon ids only so in that case what i can do is data dot select so select is, is is a function here and here i can mention that i just want id so i'll mention id and at the end i'll have to use show method and now it will just show us the id so if you want specific number of uh, columns to be shown you can basically pass those uh, like this uh, let me pass more than one because that is single one i am passing here more than one so here you can see i am passing id and after id i am passing here uh, what was the other one we have we have name so id and name i i want so id and name i have passed and at the end i can just type show uh, show function i am calling so id and name i am getting so multiple columns in a list you can pass and those columns will get uh, displayed over here and now let's uh, just see the last command and the last command would be data dot describe so data dot describe it is going to show us the statistics uh, statistical summary so let me type show over here So I didn't type show, so I'm typing show over here, and here you can see that it is giving us the summary. So count, mean, standard deviation, minimum, and maximum. So you can see the details are little less as compared to what we have in pandas, but it is giving us the summary. Total count four records are there. Mean value is one zero one for the ID and for the salary we are getting. We are not getting mean values where the data is in string format and cannot be calculated. Uh, the mean cannot be calculated. Standard deviation similar way like mean we are getting. min max uh, we are getting for all the columns so min max uh, is alphabetically sorted and accordingly we are getting so aman is minimum rithvik is maximum admin is minimum and it is maximum so that's it for today in this tutorial uh, please wait for the next uh, tutorial uh, we'll be uploading more practicals on it if you have some specific demand you can write in the comment box thank you